Our computers cannot understand human language. That's why in order to interact with the computer, we learn different type of programming languages like Python, C++, C Sharp, Java and many more. Similarly, people living in different countries understand different languages. That's why in order to interact with them, we use voice translators. How amazing it would be if we will be able to create this voice translator in Python. And that's what we are going to do in this video. So hello everyone and a very warm welcome to WS Cube Tech. My name is Ayushi Jain and in this video we will be creating a voice translator which will convert our voice into different language and can also convert a different language into our voice. So let's get started guys. To create a voice translator these are the libraries that we need to install. Some of them has an alpha version for example for play sound we have 1.0.0.2.2 and you will find all these libraries on Google by searching for pip play sound, pip uh, speech recognition, pip pi audio, pip gtds that is Google text to speech. So we will be using all these libraries to create this translator. First of all we will be using Google translator for that we will be importing Google trans. Now what this Google translator will do it will convert a text into a different language for example over here let's see what all languages are here for that I will be writing print google trans dot languages and let's run and see so as soon as i run it this is how the output looks like so we have different languages over here for example for japanese we have a code ja for hawaiian language we have haw for german we have de similarly for english we have en for french we have fr so these are all the languages that we have in google translator and these are the codes that we are going to use so here let's write a text let's say my text is equals to or you can write it as data as well so data is equals to what is your name or let's go with something simple like hello and let's create a translator over here so translator is equals to google trans dot capital t translator we'll call this function and now let's translate the text in a variable called as translate where we will be using translator dot translate we'll be passing our text so data is our text along with the language so our destination language that means we want to convert this hello into french language so destination is equals to fr and let's print this translate as soon as i'll run it you can see this is the translation that is source is english destination is french text is bonjour Similarly, if you want to only extract the text from here, you need to write dot text and as soon as I run it, now you can see we have only extracted the text from here. This is how you can translate any text into different language, but this is not about text. What we want, we want to speak something. For example, I want to say hello and I want it to reply to me by translating it. For that, we will be using speech recognition. So here we will be writing import speech recognition as sr let's create a recognizer by writing recognizer is equals to speech recognition dot recognizer now because we want to speak over here using our laptop that's why we will be writing sr dot microphone with capital m it as it is a function use a uh, open close parentheses as source so our microphone will be our source we will print speak now so that it should tell us that now you are going to speak now you should speak something and we will be giving our voice over here we want our recognizer to listen our voice so for that we will be writing over here recognizer dot listen what it needs to listen whatever we are saying in the source so source we will be writing over here then i'll be creating another variable called as listen in listen we will be writing recognizer dot recognize google so with the help of google recognize i want it to recognize whatever i am saying and then convert it to a desired language for that i'll be using voice because in voice only we have our voice that is saved and let's try to print it as well let's print our listen also here we do not need this data anymore what we need to do we need to convert whatever this text is there in listen we need to convert it into our desired language that's why when i run it there is an error over here that is one positional argument is missing over here here what we need to do is we need to pass our language that we are going to speak in english language now let's run it again also as recognizer is a function we need to provide it like this and let's run it again hello as you can see as i said hello it has written this text hello also it has converted it in french language for me 
let's also comment out the, these languages as we don't need it anymore and I'll run it again. How are you? And you can see it has converted how are you into French. Similarly, just for better understanding. Now, what we need to do is we also want to hear this because just writing the text is not enough. We, what we want to do when I say how are you, I want it to reply to me in whatever language it is saying, but in an audio. So, for that, for bringing an audio over here, we will be using Google text to speech. For that, we will be importing GTTS. And here we will write converted audio. As it is a converted audio, we will be writing converted audio is equals to GTTS dot capital GTTS dot capital actually small g but TTS in capital. And what we need to hear is this translated text. So translate dot text and in which language? So language would be language is equals to French. Lastly, we need to save this audio. So to save this audio, we will be writing converted audio dot save and because it's an mp3 it's an audio we need to save it in mp3 extension so i'll be writing hello dot mp3 lastly once we have saved it we need to play this sound as well because this sound will be saved at our destination where our code is but because we want to play it as well for that we will be using play sound along with dot play sound and because we have i guess we have not imported play sound over here so yeah, it got automatically imported uh, because we are using PyCharm. So play it sound dot play sound and here we'll be passing hello dot mp3. Now let's run it and see how it works. So let me just open this part and let's run it. Hello. Bonjour. As you can see, it has converted my language into French. That means it has converted English into French. Also, it is speaking it for us. Similarly, if I run it again, how are you? And now you can see it has also converted how are you into French and then it is speaking French as well. So this is how you can create a translator and you can change the languages over here. Suppose a person has replied in some language. Now you want that language over here. For example, I want Hindi over here and here I want English. And now if I run it again, Kaise hain aap? How are you? So you can now see that I have said something in Hindi and it has converted it into English. So this is how we have created our voice translator in less than 20 lines. Do remember when you're importing these libraries, use these alpha version for Google Trans and play sound. Otherwise, it will throw an error for you. So here we have used Google Translator to translate the text into different language. Then we have used speech recognition to recognize our voice. That voice will be converted into desired language. Then that desired language will be converted into speech. And then lastly, with the help of play sound, we will be able to hear that speech. So I hope guys that you have no doubts in the question on how we have created this voice translator. If you like this video, do like, share and subscribe. And for more such content, stay tuned guys. Thank you.